today it is still summer tomorrow it will be autumn and flowers and leaves will fall falling in love with someone is truly a beautiful experience there is that moment when you realize that you are falling in love that should be the most joyful moment in your life but actually it is not it is always a moment that's full of fear because you know as night follows day day follows night both joy and pain are there in love also every awesome moment also carries the possibilities of awful moments from this point the story of my painting starts here i am drawing a girl who is sleeping with flowers and keeping her eyes closed for this girl the world is very beautiful now she is love with someone love is just blooming and she is thinking about it at the beginning i want to tell you that this is my used canvas i did something on this canvas 4 years back when my son was years old <laughs> by saying me he too wanted to do something with this canvas then i gave my incomplete painting to him to put colors on and he scribbled with his tiny hands after that the painting was lying like that half done Recently I wanted to work on this. I thought why not put a texture on this canvas? Why not try something different? And there's something about this painting. Let me quickly introduce about the materials I have used for this painting. Well, The size of the painting is 3 to 4 feet, and I have used Camel Artist oil color. I started my painting with basic lines and applied crimson, white, yellow ochre for body part of the girl. And the background, I have used cobalt blue. I always don't want to hang up on the particular area. I love to do basic things all over my painting first. I have found that blocking in the background first helps me to get a feel for the shape of the curl. Human skin is made up of reds, yellows and blues. the primary colors when you mix the primary colors together in the right proportions you get a rich and natural brown depending on the darkness of the skin you may also use titanium white to bring out the contours of the face and the highlights on the skin In this painting I have chosen pink for her dress and the flowers because pink is a light red hue and is typically associated with love and romance and it is often described as a feminine color 
Even some readers have described pink as a color that evokes feelings of joy and happiness. This is my second painting where I am using most of the part pink. And pink makes me feel all the things fresh and new. And light blue is a peaceful, coming color. According to color psychology, blue is associated with trustworthiness and reliability. It symbolizes trust, loyalty, confidence, intelligence, faith, truth, and heaven. Oil paint generally takes between 3 to 7 days to dry completely. Always use well diluted paint and wait for it to dry before moving on to the next steps. You cannot complete your oil painting in one or two sittings. It will take more time. Always start by adding areas of shadow and light, fill in large areas with color, then work patiently laying on more and more intense layers of colors. Blending oil paint is different from blending other mediums because the paint takes so long to dry and you have more time to adjust your plant. You can make a more even gradient between two colors. Once you have got a hand on blending two colors, you can shade or tint your drawings too. Unlike acrylics, you have time to blend your colors evenly. Add fresh paint on top of your colors if the paint dries early. This will make the paint wet and able to blend again. When you are satisfied with your blending job, set the painting somewhere safe to dry completely. Here I am working with crimson, yellow ochre and titanium white for the skin color. Yellow ochre is a wonderful old color that has been used as an art pigment since the beginning of human history. You can also use raw umber or burnt sienna for dark skin. For lighter skin types, you can start by adding small amount of platinum red light to yellow ochre until you have a bright orange color. White is the perfect white to use for the skin tone. And ultramarine blue is a warm blue that works well to dull the brilliance of the red and yellow when you mix it in the blue. The result is a natural looking skill color you can get. Oil paint is inherently slow drying compared to the other painting mediums. So, how long does oil paint take to dry? Oil paint doesn't have a fixed drying time. In general, it dries slower than the other medium. 
However, the actual drying time varies depending on the surrounding environment, the local temperature, light, wind, the pigment color, the brand of paints, the quality of pigment. So, have patience and keep practicing. Be sure to subscribe and like if you find this video helpful and definitely I would love to see your response. See you on my next video. Till then bye.